Go take a walk around the neighborhood. Do your job listening to the Godfather Godfather Minute. Minute. I'm Alex Robinson. And I'm your co-host, Andy Robinson. And today we are discussing minute number 10. E minuto numero dicina. Dicina. E minuto numero numero dicina. Dicina. Say it with me, Alex. Dicina. Dicina. Nice. All right. Uh, So yeah, we're discussing minute 10 of the Godfather today. uh, This week. Uh, it starts off uh, where last minute ended with Don greeting of another Don. This case, Don Corleone greeting Don Barzini. Head-to-head to, head to head Dons. Don, very con- very popular name, Don, mm-hmm. among the Italian <laughs> community and the teens. Uh-huh. How old is, the, how old is uh, our Don? How old is Don Corleone supposed to be at this point? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, think I he, don't think it says in the book. Uh, he was born December 8th. I know that. Really? The, for Harbor Day, right? Oh, that's right. Well, they didn't know it was Pop's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they, they, they bombed Pearl Harbor on Pop's birthday. I can't believe it. <laughs> the nerve of them. Uh, all right, you start talking about something while I look up what day, how old Well, was I can talk about the very first few seconds of this minute. Mm-hmm. So Don, Car- Don Corleone, his son Santino, and Fredo. 1891, he was born. And this is 1945? 1945. So that would be nine, 54. 54. Be 54 years hmm. old. Interesting. <laughs> he seems older than that. I think people <laughs> aged faster back then. Right, yeah. And also, we just can't admit the fact that we're almost we're as almost old as the there. Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a fraction of his power. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but anyway, so you were saying. So Don Corleone is there welcoming Don Barsini. Mm-hmm. And he's there with his two sons, Santino and Fredo. Michael is still missing. That's right. So yeah. it's still, I think, somewhat symbolic that Michael is not involved in the family business. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of Italian there I wanted to point out. Yeah, what does he say? It's he not says, he says, benvenuto a casa nostra. That's welcome to our house. Benvenuto, benvenuto a casa nostra. Welcome to our house. Casa nostra means our house? It does. And it's very similar to cosa Cosa nostra, which is our thing. Oh, I yeah, was going to say, casa. isn't that the same thing? Oh, casa okay. is house and cosa is thing. Oh, nice. So I think it is interesting how he dropped that in there. I don't know whose idea it was, but it's like, welcome to casa nostra. Right, it's subtle. Yeah. It's a subtle. Oh, so it, you said earlier that the word mafia was has never been said is not said in the movie. Not in God. Not in the not Godfather, Godfather one. one yeah. Obviously, the second. So one this is, is the, sort of a li- yeah. way to suggest it. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Um, I guess we'll learn more about Don Barzini as things go on. But mm-hmm. he seems he seems very like much more dapper than like like he seems more uh, I don't know more modern and uh, and uh, I don't know more uh, he doesn't slick. he doesn't seem like a like an old school Italian the way like Don Corleone or or Bruno Tattaglia does. Oh, no, the, the father the the is it Bruno Tattaglia? Bruno Tattaglia is one of the sons. Yeah, but the you know, we see him later on, and he's yeah. like, you know, what guarantees yeah, is my son will not be vengeance on. Anyway, yeah, we'll I mean, get to he, that. yeah, he does look mm-hmm. more assimilated, more modern. He looks like Jack Palance to me. Remember Jack? Palance? Oh yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. His hair looks different, but his face does. Yeah, mm-hmm. he just has that kind of. Uh, after all, they're not communists. Yeah. So uh, yeah, anyway, Don Barzini does seem more of a city slicker. Yeah. Um. I wonder if he looks down on. That's one of the many reasons he looks down on Don Corleone. Oh, he's like, yeah. oh, he's a hillbilly from oh, Sicily maybe. or whatever. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah. So uh, we want to draw water from the well together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he even references yeah. drawing water from the well like a like a hillbilly. <laughs> so what else do we see in this uh, minute? Do we, we see s- more dancing, mm-hmm. which is which is always fun. This is and still- we see someone judging dancing. We do. We see a <laughs> dance judge. Where there's people dance. dancing, there's inevitably people <laughs> judging dancing. And keep in mind, this is this is what thirty years before Dancing with the Stars and America's Got Talent. Wait, do you mean thirty years from 1972 when it was filmed? Or from, not not yeah. from 1945. Correct. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, and so we see Clemenza, mm-hmm. who is one of the couple regimes, dancing, and he's having a great time. He he pauses, and he calls to one of his henchmen, Polly. He has the, a Polly pause. He had, takes a Polly pause. <laughs> uh, Polly, more wine. What I love about this this tiny bit of dialogue is the camera's on Clemenza, mm-hmm. and he says, "Hey, Polly, bring me more wine." Paulie doesn't hear him, and yeah. that's why Clemenza just repeats it. He says it louder, Paulie, more wine. Yeah. Which is great that you don't see him, and you, but you see him repeat that. It, right. just, it was yeah. a very real moment. Right. That yeah. I don't know if you were, if I were scripting something like that, I ever would have thought to have done. It was very real. I wanted to point that yeah. out. Yeah. Apparently, they had like, um, cameras and stuff and microphones, I guess, just, uh, going around, like, just capturing pieces of dialogue and stuff you know oh, i guess neat. all the sound is actually sound from the the, the event oh, so i guess great. maybe that was a little thing where he just kind of you know was ad lib yeah a little, just, a little bit of a little yeah. bit of an ad lib that's so, great uh, and then paulie comes over and you hear a little bit a little bit of telling he says scusi please excuse me as yeah. he's getting through mm-hmm. and then the yeah and then he says uh what are you? Oh, that's when he says oh what is it? he hey, says you look uh, terrific out there oh yeah you look so, terrific on the floor yeah and he says, what, are you a dance judge or something? <laughs> um, we need to talk about that. <laughs> what, were you a dance judge? Yeah. One thing I think is funny about it is that it's the kind of thing where, like, it seems like there must be relentless ball busting in, in this world. Yeah, in this world. Like, he's just like, he's giving a compliment. He's like, oh, you're a good dancer. <laughs> like, what, are you a dance judge? Get through, you know, <laughs> like, like anything that's not like, you always have to keep people in line. Whatever, yeah. whatever, like. Yeah, because is it really that much of an insult? What, what are you, a dance judge? Like, yeah. Is that an insult? I don't even think that's an insult. Well, I guess it's saying like <laughs> you're maybe. not doing your job. You're, yeah. you're you're judging dancing when you should be out there yeah. uh, like clearing yeah. away <laughs> cops from the uh, parking lot yeah. or whatever. <laughs> is that what he's supposed to do? What is it? Is his job just like security in general? Is go ahead, is it, hey, take a walk around, do your job. Like So meaning like... like keep an eye out. Or does he mean go around with like a plate of... Like or oh, serving or food. No. Yeah, I think he means security. I'm yeah. guessing. Let's go. Mime's money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he's a da- he's a, he accuses him of being a, accuses him of being a dance judge. <laughs> so Alex, what I want to ask you: if someone called you a dance judge in yeah. modern times now, yeah. a what, dance judge or a dancing judge? A, a dance judge. Isn't a dance that what judge. He, yeah. yeah. That's okay. What he, yeah. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Uh, I'd probably go do my job and take a walk around. Because <laughs> no one's calling you a dance judge and meaning it as a good thing, most likely. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you're right. This, this In this world, at every level, your boss is always busting your balls. Yeah. No and I guess Clemenza is also specifically. Yes. There's that scene later on where, where Michael's on the phone and he's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. And he's like, why don't you tell that girl you love her? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> so uh, Clemenza is very ball busty. Yeah. He wasn't the smarter one, but he was always busting more. Yeah, balls. it's like Tessio was smarter, but he kept he, he wasn't yeah. as much of a uh, of a wise guy. Tessio was smarter until he picked up that orange. <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna die!" <laughs> uh, I have some information about um, the actor. This is the first we haven't really done this very much yet, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Ralph Castellano is the guy who plays played uh, Clemenza. Mm. Uh, born in the Bronx. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Uh, in 1933, passed away unbearably young Aww. in 1988. He was only 55 years old. Oh boy! But uh, as you can imagine from the look of him, he probably was not the healthiest man in the in the in the entire world. All that wine, <laughs> all that wine, all that cabago. Yeah. Um, he I, I didn't, did he die from a broken heart not winning the dance contest? <laughs> <laughs> he did die from a broken heart, unfortunately brought on by too much fatty food and yeah. literally a broken heart. <laughs> Um, he was already an Oscar winner by this point. Really? He won the Academy Award for Lovers and Other Strangers hmm. in 1970. Never heard of it. I never heard of it either. Hmm. Isn't that great? You win an award and not only are mm-hmm. you like the, the movie, people don't even know you won the award and the movie you did it for is completely forgotten. <laughs> 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 um, he, uh, two other weird things. He is the nephew 
He was the nephew of a real Gambino crime boss. His wow. uncle was a boss in the Gambino crime family. Wow. I wonder if he was happy if the uncle was like, oh, you made us proud. Or was he like, oh, don't, don't say yeah, anything yeah, that, you know, or who knows, maybe he was dead by that time. But uh, yeah. Did they say if, if the actor, what's his name again? Uh, Cast- Ralph Castellano. Castellano, if he dabbled in that world in real life. It didn't say anything mm. in his Wikipedia page mm. about it. It sounds mm-hmm. like he was just pretty much strictly an actor. Uh, after the Godfather, he was in the first Godfather. He was in a uh, sitcom. He was a star of a sitcom. He was the titular, the super. He was the superintendent of a building. Oh, wow. And, uh, not only was his real life daughter played his daughter on the show, mm. but his son was played by Bruno Kirby, who would of course go on to play Clemenza in Godfather oh, two. Gosh. So it's a weird, uh, a weird mix. I wonder Serious if that's connections. how they- how they uh, they explain why he didn't come back for Godfather Two, but we'll get to that. Uh, we'll yeah. get to that later on. But uh, so he went the sitcom sitcom route. Yeah, I wondered. I heard he he originally auditioned for the role of Jack in Three's Company. <laughs> yeah, but he couldn't pull off the uh, physical off. Uh, yeah. all the yeah. tripping over stuff yeah. <laughs> and all those trips down to the, the Regal Beagle. He ended up just staying down there and just drinking a lot. You know, he likes his wine. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More wine. So, yeah, those are some factoids about uh, the actor who played uh, Clemenza, hmm. Ralph Castellano. It's a shame because I liked him. He was like, Clemenza's a fun character. And, yeah, I guess he's one of the f- most fun characters because, like as we said, he's a perennial ball buster. Yeah, so it's, he's uh, got great dialogue. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. I, I want to point out, looking at the big picture of the movie, mm-hmm. is this getting back to the line where Clemenza is busting his balls? Hey, go go do your job. What yeah. are you, dance judge? Is it, you see that Paulie's a little frustrated at that point? Do you, do you feel like he's he's truly feels insulted by Clemenza's response, or is it just an everyday interaction that he has with? Based on someone? what we see of Clemenza, I feel like he's this way to every yeah. underling. You know, yeah, makes sense. Not even underling. I mean, he's that way with Michael Corleone, who, who's kind of a gray area at that point. If he's an underling or if he's anyone younger than him, I assume, like, mm-hmm. Paulie must be like an uncle to them. You yeah. Know? So, like, mm-hmm. but Paulie, I guess. So you're saying, are you saying that this is what pushes Paulie to over the brink? I'm just wondering if um, if this was one of, of many slights yeah. that he had to take, which yeah. sort of moved him. They totally should have like leaned into that more and had Paul like once Clemenza walks away, Paulie's be like, "You'll get yours, fat man." You know, like say something like, "Maro, if I could only betray you, but yeah. it's a sweet tomato." What do you think about how great this movie is? There are so many ways they could have made it not great. Oh yeah, like so yeah. much. We've already talked about so many of them. Yeah, hamming it up, adding dialogue. Wait, wait, are you saying that my edition would not have been a good thing to have? It oh be no, like, I would have, I would have loved it. Yeah. I would have watched it. I so I swear by the <laughs> Godfather that I will get my revenge. <laughs> and you see Bonacera in the background rubbing his hands. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like things don't even make sense. Just connecting it all. He's preparing. He's building the coffin. Getting, <laughs> yeah. getting, getting it ready. So one more. There's a little bit about Polly. Uh, Alex sure. says, "You know, I'm making my way through the book. The mm-hmm. book is different than the movie. How so? It's shorter. The book is different than the movie. The book is different than the movie. The book is different. The book is different. The book is different than the movie. Yeah. In the book." There's a little bit more about Polly, and we'll talk more about it in future minutes. But I do want to point out that Polly is frustrated, uh, and he's got a cold. He's got a cold. He's a good kid. He is the one who takes who Clemenza has do the Bonacera job. Oh, really? Yeah, it is Polly. Huh? Yeah, Polly and a couple of his crew go out. Polly's crew. Polly's crew go uh-huh. out to a, a bar one night where these. The two attackers are waiting mm-hmm. or partying in this bar and they're outside waiting for them. And then basically when these two guys come out at night, they um, they ambush them and beat them up really badly. They don't kill them. Though. They don't kill them. They're not mm-hmm. animals. Yeah. As the as undertaker thinks. So it is Polly who takes that job. Huh. So do you think then that um, that then the 
do the do the people know what's going on? Do the people who get beat up? Are they like, oh my god, we should never beat up that woman? Or are they just like, oh my gosh, these two Italian guys came out of nowhere and just beat us up? Or was it the kind of thing where they're like, stay away from Bonacera's daughter? You no, know, I'd have to look back, but I don't think in the book they write that they reveal yeah. why. So let that they be a lesson, everyone. Up. If you're out somewhere and you just get randomly beat up, take a moral inventory and see what things you might have done recently that why you would have deserved that. Take some pause in your life. Take some pause. Reflect. <laughs> <laughs> think of the wrongs you've done to other people yeah. and why you deserved that beating. <laughs> <laughs> and if you feel it was unfair, wait for your Sicilian's friend's daughter to get married, go see him mm-hmm. and ask for a favor. Ask wait. for justice. So if you're beat up, so you know, let's just say the next time, uh, well, he doesn't have any more daughters. So yeah, that's true. It's it. Let's suppose Unless Michael Corleone's daughter had gotten, although she does, she maybe does get married again. But by that point, she's not the mm. Don. She's not the daughter of the Don anymore. She's the sister yeah, of the Don. That's true. Sister. So yeah. let's assume that Michael Corleone became the Godfather, mm-hmm. and let's assume that Sofia Coppola, his daughter, got married. Mm-hmm. Then those two guys can show up and go. Oh, about thirty years ago, we yeah. got beat up. It seemed like it was for no reason. <laughs> but can you beat up someone for us to get rid of? <laughs> Although Paul Eves was dead by that point, so it's, Paul uh, is dead. Yeah. So it all takes care of itself. Yeah. It's like, I got great news for you, fellas. I got great news for you, fellas. That he's already dead. That's my Michael Corleone impression. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. It's really good. It's more, it's more an older Michael yeah. Corleone. Yeah, because the, the older Michael Corleone is, is a little wild, isn't he? Like, ah, isn't Al Pacino a little crazy in Oz by that, by that Well, by that time, yeah, he was getting very, uh, very big. <laughs> I couldn't let him take the picture without me. <laughs> I mean. You're going to take that picture without me? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till we get to Godfather oh, 3. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be great. Zaza. <laughs> Joey Zaza. Because <laughs> Marlon Br- doing over the top Al Pacino is almost as much fun as doing uh, any d- Marlon Brando. Which is almost as fun as doing Joey Zaza. Joey Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> like the, Andy Garcia doing Joey yeah. Zaza. And you know, they keep threatening to do another Godfather movie. Do they? Yeah, with with do basically Godfather Four would be the rise of young um, Andy Garcia. Oh, really? Yeah. It would be oh, so it would continue how, after yeah, it would continue Godfather the Corleone Oh, wow! In and, a modern time. Yeah, into well, I guess whatever the seventies or whatever it would have been by that time. I guess it was probably the eighties, right? Yeah. I oh, lost it was track. a young Andy Garcia. So before taking place in between two and three. Yeah, it would have been echoed Godfather Two, where you would have paralleled old Andy Garcia with him as a young guy oh. rising up through that oh, got as, it. as Sonny's illegitimate uh, heir. Oh, wow! How interesting. Yeah. And I guess Andy Garcia is now old enough where he could. Yeah, he could you know, do that. He could yeah. play. Uh, I wonder who they'd have play him as a younger guy. I don't know. Yeah. Johnny Depp. Robert Redford. <laughs> Robert Redford. He doesn't look Italian. Well, he's like Northern Italian. <laughs> Zaza. <laughs> I just want to say it. It's so fun. Although they could at this point now do a CGI. We talked oh, about it last week. Yeah, a CGI right. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Would be would be uh, in the in the movie somehow. I can't help but feel I love mob movies, but I can't help but feel that that Andy Garcia in the nineties like that mob story just wouldn't have the same appeal as as what's happening. I was just talking with someone last night that with the rise of cell phones, mm-hmm. it, it sort of takes away from crime stories mm-hmm. you no longer have the suspense of oh my gosh this person doesn't know something and well, i can't call tell that them. to the wire they use cell phones all the time and that's, no, that's true yeah. and that's a yeah. Yeah. i guess you have to go with it. you have to innovate yeah as as technology innovation takes place yeah. then your your writing has to as well although i guess there's i i think the one thing missing is kind of the romantic element of it being like yeah. modern crime words just seem so kind of like thuggish and yeah. not like there's no like honor and all that stuff. Yeah, it's just yeah. like it's all about the dollars. Yeah, yeah. Where and I'm sure the real mafia was really a lot more like that than we're led to believe. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I see what you mean. It's more just about you know, it's all about drugs and, and yeah. wars. They save the gambling for last. Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Everything with him is wars. <laughs> So anyway, yes. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. That's been rumored for a long time now. So that I don't would know. Be interesting. They, uh, do you think they would ever? If we already discussed this, if they would ever reboot the Godfather, reboot it? Yeah. Mm. Have like you know, uh, 
Oh, Who would my. play? Uh, Vic, like uh, Michael Chiklis would play The so, Godfather. <laughs> oh, and, uh, so when you say reboot, you mean remake it? Remake the first movie. Just or, remake it yeah. in modern times? No, no. It could or still it be could set be in the then. 40s, but oh, just with wow. modern young actors. I don't think there. they ever will because it's such a fantastic movie. But if they mm-hmm. did, yeah, I think Michael Chiklis could be a good Don Corleone. I'm, I'm more obsessed with who'd be Bonacera. It's such a key <laughs> character. <laughs> I love America. I feel oh, like it should be an immigrant. They should, if it, it were made now, you would have to... It would Change be that guy up. from Life is Beautiful. Roberto Benigni. Oh, would be okay. The, uh, would be the, oh, the, the, oh, jumping up and down <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> thing. It would nowadays, you know, everyone would want to be involved and every part would be like played by. Oh, look, oh, that's, yeah. uh, that's yeah. you know, uh, can't even think about a every, minor actor would yeah. be like, oh, look, it's a cameo from, uh, yeah. you know, and so on. Hmm. Uh, so yeah. anyway. also what we see in this minute is mm-hmm. that minute 10 sunny goes oh p- pinches a young woman's cheek he mm-hmm. walks by pinches her cheek we'll talk about her in a later minute mm-hmm. we also we'll see get very in deep with her very in deep yeah <laughs> sunny then goes to his wife and says hey do me a favor can sandra you, sandra yeah sunny and sandra <laughs> can you uh w- hey do me a favor watch the kids and she yeah. says hey well, don't let him run around wild don't let him run around wild yeah and what does she say? She says, well, you watch yourself, all right? Mm-hmm. And he just kind of grins, shrugs. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll get in deep with that a little bit in future minutes. We'll yeah. find out a little bit more about that. They don't explain. It, we're left wondering, well, what does she mean? Well, it's definitely, they do a good job of, um, it's great storytelling. Mm-hmm. Because you really catch, in all these little introductions of the characters, you get... It's really, they're doing things that are very typical for their character. Yeah. Sonny is getting, like, his wife, you know, he's doing stuff. He doesn't care. He's bossing his wife around. She's angry at him because, mm-hmm. as we'll learn, mm-hmm. you know. And then also, like, Clemenza's bossing mm-hmm. people around and cracking wise. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's it's very effective storytelling, like, very shorthand of the character. We know Tessio loves oranges. Uh-huh. That becomes his trademark yeah. throughout the movie. So, Bonacera uh, is trying to keep his <laughs> dignity. <laughs> Bonacera. <laughs> Polly is trying to flatter his boss, trying to brown nose a little bit. Right. He says, hey, you look terrific out right. there. And we also get, in, well, I'll save it for tomorrow's or next week's minute. But uh, we see that he's he's already, some part of him is already thinking about like, oh, what can I do? How can I steal? How can I like betray the family? How can like, I, yeah. One of his second lines is like, oh, yeah, I know. money, if I could steal it, but we'll save mm-hmm, that for save mm-hmm. that for next week. He's already thinking of his, his, his next career as a dance judge. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> he went on to become Pauly Dancer. I can think of a famous <laughs> dancer named Paul. I don't know any anyway. fan- famous dancers. Uh, you don't know any famous dancers? Beyonce? Yeah, I, yeah, male dancers, male or female, you know. Somebody. I don't know any fame. A Barishnikov, Barishnikov. Um, you know uh, Gene Kelly, Gene Kelly, Gene yes. Kelly. You know Fred Astaire, Fred Astaire. Mm-hmm. You know uh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, King of Pop. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. You so. think, are you trying to suggest that Paulie created the moonwalk, <gasps> invented it? Moonwalk, yes. <laughs> Sweet tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my own number this moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, speaking of Tessio, we see him again in this brief little uh, mm-hmm. thing. We see him. He's dancing with a uh, woman much younger than him. Mm. It's scandalous. Yeah. Um, but she's standing on his feet, you know, do, he's at to kind of, I guess, to dance with her. So Very like, cute. He, and I guess that was something that Francis Ford Coppola put in because he remembers doing that at Italian weddings. He remembers mm. ch- children doing that. It's, uh, you know, standing on Francis Ford Coppola, obviously Italian, I think put a lot of. Really wanted this to be an authentic, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, Italian wedding. Yeah. Like he said, he wanted uh, children there in suit, in their finest suits, and everyone, yeah. you know. So, uh, yeah, that's why I think the wedding scene is so so fantastic. It does not seem does not seem staged. It really seems, yeah, it seems very authentic. Seems very authentic yeah. yeah, and again, a nice contrast to the very much more white bread mm-hmm. and dysfunction lur- lurking underneath all the yeah you know like fredo and his wife and uh frankie five angels is there with a complaint and mm-hmm. uh, the uh the the boys choir the and, boys yeah, choir mr Salt wonderful yeah. <laughs> and then also the senator uh pat geary mm-hmm. is like there you know all right mm-hmm. you gotta play your games and mm-hmm. this, you know, it's, it's a kind of corrupted version of this, uh, this yeah. environment so 
And then the uh, speaking of which, the scene ends with uh, Mama Corleone and the Don dancing. Yeah, dancing, having together. a great time. Don yeah. finally gets some some time to enjoy the wedding. Yeah, it's good to know that as he kind of this is might be the peak of his life. You yeah. Know, after this, things really. Uh, it's shortly after this that he gets gunned down by mm-hmm. uh, by mm-hmm. the Turk. I mean, when he when he semi semi retires, that's. Mm-hmm. That's a highlight, but I think he's still concerned because Michael's taking over, and yeah, we'll see and later he, he that he's want this for him. Yeah, in the movie, in the, in the, the book, in the, the book, book, I uh, wanted this for you, but not in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we have Puzo's trying to rewrite my life, trying to make it, trying to change things. For so, is the real Vito Corleone the book one or the movie one? Who knows? Oh, they'll have to duke it out. Will we ever know the real Vito Corleone? <laughs> they'll have to don it out. <laughs> Have to wrestle. Another thing we should do is we should play the. There's been multiple uh, Godfather video games. Really, and we should play that. We should uh, we should play it. Oh, that's play awesome! What point. what is one of them? Uh, I is think it like Corleone Kong. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a big uh, there's a big Don Corleone at the top like Donkey Kong, <laughs> and then you're Paulie trying to get to uh, to shoot him. Yeah, and the barrels oh. of olive oil coming. Down. <laughs> yeah, or the wine, or oranges. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it's uh, liquor in barrels oh. that were supplied from your father's <laughs> trucks. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about Hyman Roth. Oh, it's <laughs> is Hyman Roth not at the wedding? He's not at the wedding. That's right. Or at least they're not showing the other him. crime bosses so are there. If so, CGI. I think they should have CGI'd Hyman Roth into the oh, scene, yeah. like have him in the background. Be, and Hyman Roth is a, a small, small guy. Show. Yeah, <laughs> Hyman Roth's a small guy. He should have been dancing on on Tessio's feet. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I didn't ask if he wanted <laughs> to dance with me. <laughs> Tessio, do you like baseball? I can't do it. Help me do a Hyman Roth. It's more like nasally. It's like, oh, so yeah, father, yeah, yeah father. But anyway, we'll do I'll work on it. Yeah. I only have 200 episodes yeah, to, father, to work so on Yeah, father, so make sure everyone like looks so, at the cake. So, oh, yeah. the cake. Oh, oh the cake. cake. And what does that tell you, Michael? <laughs> All right, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll know we have a deal. If not... I just want to enjoy my retirement. I'm a registered voter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm living off a pension. <laughs> yeah. Israel denied my right to stay there. <laughs> so do you Jew. think when we get to Godfather 2 oh, that, the, I I, that the, the Hyman movie. Roth minutes yeah. will get fours and fives? Yeah, like well, he's the, the Brando, Brando ones. Uh, yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah. All yeah. those scenes with him are great. <laughs> I get a million dollars to take a piss again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, the scene of the minute ends with mm-hmm. them dancing, and we'll we'll pick up with that next week. Mm-hmm. How uh, would you rate this minute? Oh, this minute, um, get a bit of Clemenza, um, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another three three stars. Yeah, again, if, it's more setting up, and mm-hmm. it's very much like similar to last minute. Yeah, we we don't have any Don dialogue. I love Clemenza busting Polly's chops, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's enough to get it to four. Yeah, uh, it is a line that I repeat. Frequently, when I'm Which talking one? with other people, about the dance more judge? wine, more wine. Like oh, yeah, my friend yeah, Wally's a big Godfather fan. Wally, yeah. more wine. Oh god, so Wally, I, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. In fact, it's not even Nay's name. You just call him Wally because it sounds. Yeah. No, his name is Wally. Yeah, but it is. Okay. Hey, Wally, oh, more wine. <laughs> hey, we're three. three I'll, I'll keep it three. How do you? How would you rate our assessment of this minute? Uh, well, it's gonna be hard to do. And why do we do that? Why do we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's very. Uh, it's. Uh, I did not have a lot of notes for this episode, mm-hmm. so I think we did a fairly good job of of of, mm-hmm. of making it, uh, padding it out, making it entertaining. I'm mm-hmm. going to go and give it um, three and a quarter. Okay, yeah. I I will give it a three. Okay, I'm not going halvesies or quarteries, no backsies, oh. so I'm going to stick with three. Okay, I think it's. Do you more- want to drop this feature? No, no, I think it's great. I'm just, I just can't wanna- wait till the one day we're like a oh, one star. This we, oh, we really <laughs> dropped the ball on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it could happen, right? It w- well, it, will we ever get it to will it? Happen. It will happen. There has to be a worst episode. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be one where one of us is in a bad mood or oh, not yeah. listening. This movie sucks. Yeah. Well, again, I I can always go back and technically put static in, distortion. Yeah. And Let's say this now. When Tony Consiglio shows up for his minute, <laughs> let's just agree ahead of time we're going to give that one one We're going to give it one. Yeah. yeah. We'll have him rate it first. Yeah. He'll say, oh, I'll give it a five. Perfect. And we'll be like, oh, mm, great. A one. Yeah. So everyone... <laughs> Now you're already on the joke, so yeah, uh, when that got happens, it. so uh, got it. Anyway, uh, so uh, we'll be back next week with minute eleven. Minute eleven. This so m- next minute, minute goes, goes to, to eleven. It goes to eleven. <laughs> it's not the right show. We're not doing this final tap minute. 
this is not Spinal Tap. Mm-hmm. It's the follow up. This uh, is not Spinal Tap. Isn't this is not Spinal Tap basically every other movie? Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's Godfather. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is not, not Spinal Tap. <laughs> uh, okay, so until next week then. Uh, leave, take, the, leave, leave the, the gun. gun. Take, take the cannoli. cannoli.